Hi, this is Louise from Timekeeper Crafts. Uh, this is a book that I am uh, presenting today. It was requested three years ago by a gentleman for his wife who is celebrating a special birthday. Plus, she is also retiring this year. Um, the book was requested three years ago. So for three years, I've been collecting stuff and accumulating um, little ephemeras for this book. Uh, this video will have a multi-purpose. First, it's to introduce it to her daughter, who will be receiving the book from me. And she is then going to show it to her dad. So I kind of wanted them to understand what junk journal memory books are all about. Um, I'm going to start by saying that the cover itself is from 1880. It's a German costume book. Um, I did have to redo the spine because the spine was only an inch or so, and this is now three and a half inches. Um, it's a pretty substantial book. Got a lot of laces and baubles hanging on off the edges. In the back, I just left it as is. I didn't want to embellish the cover too much because I wanted to be able to sit flat on a shelf if she wants or whatever she decides to do with it. Uh, I tied it with one of these skinny curtain rod or curtain holders, I guess, and a post. And on the inside, I just want to make sure there's only one thing that would identify them, so I just wanted to uh, make sure the picture was covered. This is their their song, which I found the words for and the music score for it. Um, she really is. Um, a very feminine lady so I did try to give it a very feminine touch um, I know he calls her his queen so I've attached a little bauble here that has a, a crown on it I've decorated with lace and there's a velvet um, embossed fabric in the middle of the spine so the book itself is quite chunky so it's going to be kind of hard to, to show it all but I've just put lace and pockets. I used uh, TaylorMade Journal's um, La Vie en Rose, as well as uh, a paper pack that I had from Michael's with roses in it. So uh, somebody, a friend of mine, Janine, lent me some French stamps so I could use across the book. They are bilingual people, so the book is very bilingual. Uh, I've added added a little saying down here, and it's in encased in one of those little plastic. Uh, you put them on binders to identify your binders. So, like I said, for three years I've been collecting things, so laces and um, different kinds of. Oh, there's a word for these. Of course, brain dead when you start making a video appliques that's what those are called and the lace with the roses on it i've got documents again from tailor-made journals that are from the 1800s so this was uh, an accountant's um, ledger that i made into like a little notebook that her husband maybe could use to uh, write his comment for his note to her letter to her and then there's a whole bunch of blank ones. What's going to happen is um, they're having a retirement party for her. So her guests will all receive one of these little cards to fill out and put their, their special memories for her. Uh, this is a journal, a French journal from France, dated, dated 1893. So I just covered the envelope with it. Inside there's just a blank paper for somebody to fill out that I've decorated with a just a little rose embellishment. All through the book there's envelope little notepad or note papers in them. As you can see, there's different ephemeras from different centuries. Um, the oldest is 1700s and 
up to present. So there's quite a bit of stuff in here. There's different little readings that she can do. Uh, this one here has the double pockets as well as one of these. I knew the name of those too, but who knows what it is today. And it just flips out. This is just a little tuck spot with a postcard that somebody could fill out. This is um, wallpaper that I've stamped on or stenciled on. This is a piece of fabric and underneath. And there's a magnet here to hold that in place so when you turn the page it doesn't flip and flop all over the place. A belly band, again with envelopes with little note cards inside for people to fill out. So the first section I thought would be could be reserved for family members. Um, the second one will be for her co-workers and friends. And this was uh, printed on a piece of vellum. It's an old advertisement for roses. Western Union Telegraph. And this one, I'm not sure if there's a date on this one. 1913. So this is like a ledger from 1913. She, um, as a sideline, she works full time. But as a sideline, she does costumes. Um, so I thought this little mask was appropriate for her. Little moments. And again, that's a little tuck spot if they need it. Another little note. No paper. Paper's supposed to go in there. There we go. This is an old check from 1888. Some of these are photocopies and some are originals. This one's an original from a letter book where they used to uh, write a letter and then they would set it on a moist piece of vellum and it would transfer the, the the letter onto those and they kept those in a book and again another old tag envelope with another piece of note paper in there so all the way through there's little pockets and this a little medallion that says love i've got a button here with some dangles that are hearts this is actually a little um, lock it so if they can get a picture small enough that would be cool to put in there this is one of those uh, in paper clips and there's a piece of paper again that's decorated so that somebody could write a note and the ledger that's down here is from Patty Lang of Sacred Mementos I've got quite a few ledgers from that lady um, this is another, this is a photocopy, but I just distressed it to make it look really old. It's an old French document. And everything moves, so it's very interactive. So there's two king and the queen here. This says, a few minutes of happiness for an eternity of memories. And again, there's another little card in there. These are from um, an old book that I got from Patty Lang, different pages of the books. And again, printed out stuff. This is 19 from 1930, so whoever had the original made a digital kit. I made the inside, the middle part with the little hearts or the little scallop circles. This is a piece of fabric that uh, I think Janine gave me that one. And these I probably purchased from Patty or from Maggie White. Again, another embellished envelope. I'm hoping this is all within the the screen here. This is old piano rolls that I have from the 1930s, 1940s. And this is the other side of the ledger from, it's a court ledger, so there's different court cases that you can read about. This is a marriage contract from 1809. Now this is a copy, obviously, but I uh, 
I distressed it to make it look like it's been around forever in a day. So that just goes in there. And it's all in French, so the recipient is fluent in French, so she'll be able to read it. There's another one that I embellished. And a little note paper inside. And again, one of those binder ID tags here. And I, this one here, I, uh, I made a oval and uh, glued a piece of paper on the inside. And again, there's a little notepad in there, no paper in there. And again, I just decorated all the way through. This one has X's and O's. Like I said, this first portion here is mostly for the family. So, and I used these little plastic tiles that are looking like gems. This is the document from the 1700s. It's part of a Bible, I do believe. Another envelope that I embellished. Again, there's paper inside. And it just tucks in the side here. So I'm sure that it will not get filled by her guests. This is one of those envelopes that I made with a, a slit in it that you can just tuck in. There's an old ledger in here, and somebody can write a note on the back of that. Um, yeah, so I'm sure it won't all get filled by the guests that she will have at her party, but I thought it would be wonderful if she could actually add her own mementos and um, little notes of souvenirs, memories that she wants to preserve in the book. I did leave some blank spaces for her to add little words here and there if she wants. This is a tag that I made. It's embossed. I use a lot of seam binding in this one. Seam binding is one of my favorite to decorate with, and these appliques are beautiful as well. And here we've got two pockets with little tags in them. And again, these are all blank so that she can, that the guests can fill them out. Just another note paper. And here it's like a brass heart. It's been tarnished a bit. Note paper again. And these are from Truro, Nova Scotia. I found these at an antique dealer. So somebody could use this and write a message in it, or she can just preserve it as it is. A little flip tab that she's got in here. And again, just different pieces. This is a wallpaper, actually, that I have. And I left some spaces as well so that they can put pictures. I did have a few pictures that I've matted for them, but I'm sure they must have a lot that they'll want to add. So wherever they can find a spot or put it on a mat, stick it in a pocket. And newspaper. I think this one was 1901. I still have to stamp this one. I'd forgotten about that. I want to stamp it with the dates and whenever I know what year the document is, if it's not on the document itself, I tried to stamp it so that she could get an idea as to what what year they were from. This is um, La Veillée des Chaumières and I think if you translated that it was something like Cottage Evenings or something like that, I think is what they called it in English. And then there's a few little notes. An old receipt from Frederick Music House in Michigan. Anyway, there's a date on this here. 7-21, so July 21, but it doesn't have the year on it. I'll leave this one here so I remember to put the date on that one. And here's a little... I think this might have been from TaylorMade Journals kit. I know I used several bits and pieces that I had from different kits, but I'm pretty sure that was tailor-made. So I was interrupted by the phone, so hopefully I can cut that little bit out. So I'll start back completely on this page here. So as I was saying, she has two daughters, and I'm hoping that one of her two daughters, daughters will decide to use this to write her note to her mom. There's two sayings about parents and um, I know they're a very close family, so the sayings were quite appropriate for them. Okay, put 
put that back in there. And these are just fancy paper clips that I made with pearls on them. There's lace at the bottom here and a piece of trim as well. And this is an embellishment that I made. This one here is um, certain people have already sent her messages. So I'm not going to unfold this section because a lot of them are filled. So I won't show the inside just in case it's one of the ones that is done already. Uh, what I've done is I've received a whole bunch of messages from her coworkers. I've printed them out and added them to all the different tags. This is a paper. Um, I'm trying to remember which one this was, but I mean, you can tell just by the handwriting. It's It's been written with a quill pen, so it, you know that it's not recent. And the paper is just, oh, it's like a fabric, uh, a fabric paper, a cotton paper. It's just amazing. And again, you know, it's just little things, text, tactile decorative um, yeah this one here when I did the envelope I put a face on the inside just for an added decoration to it took a bingo card and covered it with napkin and some embellishments there and I made a little dangle on the side on here again another note paper Another one here. So like this one's an example here. So this one was 1861 that this these pieces came from a book from 1861. This is a document from 1892. And this is an original. The letterheads are usually pretty impressive on these things like you don't see anything that's written like this anymore as an invoice and again just made a tuck spot on this 1907 journal that I got from Patty Lang this one here you flip this one over and this flips down so somebody could write a message back here and then there's little tags that messages can go on These plates, I'm, I can't remember what, oops, I can't remember what year these are from, but these are original plates out of a book. And this is an envelope that I printed that's from TaylorMade Journals. So I just printed it on vellum to make it a different kind of envelopes. Um, I've got this from a reader from 1901. And this page from a, a uh, Pittman Shorthand Book from 1925. And again, just more lace and decorations. And, and this is, um, Patty Lang made these. Uh, she scanned them and they're from an exercise in penmanship. So I thought that was kind of cool as well. Maybe during her spare time, the recipient can practice her penmanship. Maybe she can become my designer for those. <laughs> um, another one of those plastic binder tabs. Another envelope that I've decorated. And then this. This one's from 1872 is where I got this picture. A little decoration I made for there. And there's little sayings throughout, like Soul Search, and that's another envelope I made. This one, this ledger is from 1885. A couple of little tags that people could write messages on. A little note. This, this would be like a, a little ad. And then I made one of these little tiny envelopes and inside there's a little tiny paper. Somebody's got a really tiny message they want to write. Again, this is the court ledger. This is another receipt from, I'm not sure which kit this would be from, but it's 
a scan copy that I printed on vellum. I made this little side tuck on here. Another one of my baubles that I've added to it. And these are my long vellum envelopes that I have. And inside there's a tag that somebody could write a message on. Two more tags here. Decoration. This was from the... I want to say this was from an Eaton's catalog or a journal, a woman's journal magazine. This is just advert an ad that I found. Again, just a blank piece of paper for somebody to write a message on. This is one of those tobacco silks. These were uh, sold with the cigarettes way back when. I think it was 1930s, 40s, um, to try to encourage women to smoke. So they would collect all these silks that were decorated. A couple of other tags in here. Um, the roll that I got this from was, I only have eyes for you. So this is part of the words that were uh, stamped on the piano roll itself. And again, just another piece of paper that I've decorated and another little postcard. This is one of the checks from uh, 19, early 1900s. little pocket here, a little tag. I'll go in there. And again, I did the scallop decorations here. And again, different laces. This one here is, uh, these are slides. So I just put a piece of fabric and an image and some lace and, or some fibers on it. And made several pockets here with tags that people can fill out. And again, most of the Im the old images are from Patty Lang's. I can't remember the name of the books that she sells them from. And this is just a decoration for the back here. Oops, something stuck here. That shouldn't have stuck. There we go. And this is again a copy of... Um, yeah, I think there was another kit that I used, I think, that had those. I can't remember who it was. If I do, I'll put it in the uh, description. Be You Always, a little tiny image. And the little images are all from TaylorMade journals as well. There's a couple of tags again. I do believe. Yeah, this is an envelope, so you can actually separate these and put them in different pockets. And this I got from Patty Lang. I was so happy that I managed to get some of those. And again, some more decorations. And there's a little tag here. And there's a little tiny fly. A couple of copies of checks. And I have some of those um, lawyer or legal seals. So I I use them on those. And this is just a glossy envelope that I've added some decorations to. A the bobble there. I hope you can still see these. The, the book doesn't quite lay flat just because there's so many of these envelopes and just decorated ephemeras and this old check that you know I just make them look really really old a little tiny postcard credit memos and I added a little stamp from Janine's stamp collection on here This is from a 19, uh, 1970s replication, replicate 
of a 1901 Eaton's catalog that I have that shows the different costumes. And I guess I should have said that all the way through. It's different wardrobes that women wore through the years. I'm going to have to fix this one. This one came undone. So these are just, I'll take this off and I'll replace it in a minute. These are just these envelopes that fold out. And then you can write a message on the inside. And close it back up. I'm not going to... So that's two things now I gotta fix. It's always good when you review these that you know you get to pull everything out and test everything and make sure everything's still glued and I've got a paper clip here. And again, this is from Patty Lang. This is part of her scams that she did. This is part of the song again. I only have eyes for you. More postcards, a large envelope that again has a note inside from one of her friends and it has a piece of braille paper in there. And if she's got little things, she can put them in here as well. They fit in there. This is just a paper clip. Another one of those envelopes that opens up and this is another little envelope I made just kind of unfolds and this was from something from 1944 a receipt or an invoice from 1944 press checks and here I used a glassine bag with magnets so that it can open. And there's another tuck spot in there and a tuck spot up here. And then because she will be receiving, I'm sure, retirement and birthday cards, I made this little pocket here out of one of the 1872 newspapers that I had. And uh, she can just put some of the cards in here or behind here and that is the end of the book so i'm hoping that her family will enjoy it and be able to share it with their friends and family and like i said it is a pretty big book anyways well thank you for watching